We're, we are connected through cooking here in the Good Day Alabama Kitchen. We have uh, Terrell Brazelton here from Troops Pizza in Cahaba Morning. Heights. Great to have you with us this morning. Always a pleasure. Hey, now, if you haven't had their pizza, by the way, you're missing out. But we're talking about a fall salad, and I love this. Is These are fresh, and, this is fresh stuff. The fresh stuff. This is from the farm, yeah. an island farm. Uh, we've got beets. We've got... Uh, Candy stripe beets, which are kind of cool. They're a little red and white stripe. We've got some golden beets, and we've got some um, breakfast radishes as well. Interesting. Those are grown here locally. Do the different types of beets have different flavors? No, those? they're all very earthy. It's a kind of okay. a, kind of a, a constant flavor. Mm -hmm. um, it's just a, an aesthetic kind of thing. Okay. The red beets versus the golden beets versus gotcha. the. I tend to think that the golden beets are a little bit sweeter, maybe than the red beets are. Mm -hmm. um, maybe that's just psychological. But all right. So to get that, you can't just eat them raw. But well, I mean, you right. could. But they they're, they're right. better roasted. <laughs> right, right. So what we did was we take these, we cover them with a little bit of oil, salt, and pepper, and a little bit of water in the pan. We roast them for about forty-five minutes to an hour until they're fork tender. You fork can't just tender. squeeze. You can't right. just squeeze a beet and tell if it's done. You got to insert something into it, like a knife, tip of a knife, or a fork. Okay. That'll kind of tell you if you're if your uh, elasticity is good and you're ready to go. So All right, good. great tip. And then, of course, you can eat them just like that, but they would yeah. go great in a salad. By the way, I'm not a big fan of radishes, so you're, you're here to prove me I'm here, that I'm I, here I, to I will start to like them. That's okay. right. It's, All right. If, it's, if it's done right with the components matching, you've got some sweet, you've got some earthy, you've got some peppery, and you've got a little tang. So you've got All four right. of, the fla of the flavors of the taste buds going at once. So um, we have got some mixed greens and a little bit of arugula, mm -hmm. again, for some pepper and some earth there. Toss that in there. This is our shallot vinaigrette. It's a roasted shallot vinaigrette. So what we did was we took um, shallots, same process with the beets, covered them with salt and pepper and a little bit of olive oil, put them in the pizza oven until they got brown all over, okay. and then blend that up with a little bit of honey and then some um, apple cider vinegar and a little bit of oil. So it's a very simple vinaigrette. Two great tips today, all right. So we got about a minute. We can throw okay. the rest yep. of this in here and just show you the rest of the ingredients. We'll toss that here real quick. This is. As easy as it gets, you don't want too much. We like dressing. easy, especially yes. in the fall. People absolutely. are busy. Absolutely, absolutely. And you know you're going to be eating poorly, right? This, this fall and Christmas and that kind of stuff. So this is kind of gives you a chance to turn the wheels turn back it, and eat turn something that good. Around. All That's right. right. A little bit of goat cheese. Okay. Goes right on top of there. Mm -hmm. And then we've got our dates that we've taken the seed out of, and these are kind of sweet. So that's going to give you good health nice benefits. Balance. Those. A absolutely. And then our beets that we roasted, we roasted, and you can see the different colors and the stripes going through there. They're and, kind of, and kind then of the pretty. radishes you throw in there, and they're just mm -hmm. sliced raw. They're just normal. This is just a right, raw. Right out of the garden. Okay. That's exactly right. And All that right. goes right on top of there like that. And there you have couple, couple of salad. A couple of things to do in terms of the process, getting the, the, the beets ready and, uh, and also the salad dressing, but then you put it all together and that's what you've got. All right, exactly. I'm going to taste this when we come back. We're going to see good. if this is a winner. I do not like radishes. <laughs> One of the few things I will not eat. We'll be back in a moment. 